Sarak, 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 Sarak. You know, I'm a fan. I love Sarak. Uh, such uh, interesting things that go on in Sarak. It fascinates me anyway. Not too many things fascinate me anymore. Um, but um, the city is like cursed. I don't know, man. When I lived there, a lady that I was talking to when I was doing door to door sales, she was like, "The people that live here love it, but there's a like a pressure or like a, some type of ore in the air." And um, I felt it. I felt it. You know what I mean? I just it was just an uncomfortable feeling for an outsider. I'm like I'm from Baltimore. You feel me? I went out there. Whatever. So um, maybe maybe y'all should hear this from an outsider because uh, I I want to drop a little bit of um, advice on y'all niggas, man. Because I see people that are like 25 there. And I'm like, wow, how did they live that long there? Right. Um, so I mean, I guess there's some people that like know know, know how to play the field, but. Let me tell y'all something, yo. Y'all niggas take beef way, like, way different than any other city. Maybe Detroit, too. Maybe they be getting down like that, too. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. But as far as shower, right? Oh, man. You got niggas out there that want to catch bodies. And y'all niggas just be, like, talking shit and talking shit. All right. It's one thing to talk shit. All right. I can talk shit. You can talk shit. Blah, blah, blah. All right. But when you talk shit on the internet, you don't know who you got smoke with. You don't know who's ready to come blow your motherfucking head off. And with what made me come up with this idea to drop this video is um, NBA, NBA, Rah Rah, or whatever. Uh, J Rock. Fuck with that bitch ass nigga, little foot. Um. You know, he really got he he got murdered, yo. Really like one like trying like really standing up for the nigga little flip. So a nigga little flip, he a bitch. Rest in peace, rah rah, whatever. But um, you talk shit on a video, especially Zach TV. You gonna you gonna go on Zach TV on an interview, you knowing all the savages are gonna watch that video. You feel me? You talking shit, nigga. You don't know who where you come by and shoot your motherfucking ass up, nigga. You never know. You never know. They know you. They know they got beef with you, but you don't know you got beef with them because they saw you talking shit and they you didn't see them see you talk shit. So you don't know who you got smoke with. So I guarantee the nigga that, that did rah rah, he didn't even know the nigga. And the nigga would have never did him unless he unless he was on that because he was on that video talking shit. Now I seen some videos where niggas was talking about goddamn the Zach TV uh did Zach TV get Rara Ra killed? No. Rara Ra got himself killed, man. Um, he was clout chasing. Definitely so. But that's not fucking Zach TV's fault, my nigga. Like, Zach TV ain't mind control this nigga, make him jump out there like that. You feel me? Over a nigga that don't really fuck with him. It looked like the nigga flipped on him and really fuck with you for real. You feel me? So he ought to be jumping out there the way he was. I mean, he had what was coming to him. You talking about shot rack, man. Approach of 700 murders in a year, man. Can't even count the shootings. So, I mean, I know um, Chicago World News, I know he said um, some shit about, you know what I mean, niggas woofing and all that shit. But take it from an outsider, yo. Yo, y'all city is fucking ratchet as fuck, dog. Like, y'all city turns the fuck up. Y'all love catching bodies. Y'all love beef. Y'all keeping scores and shit. Please, be humble, man. I mean, if you if, if you already don't got to dodge bullets just walking down the street, goddamn, why the fuck you going to encourage niggas to come bust your motherfucking head? You got niggas, young niggas, you feel me? They're trying to reach statuses to raise those. They don't got to do no drill. They can go send shooters to do it, you feel me? So they, they, they're, they're, like looking, they're like looking for war. So if you really want to have war with people that you don't even know that, you, that, that you're enemies with, that's that's stupid, man. That's stupid, man. If you if you want to die, then that's that's on you, man. Just like uh, like he was uh, also speaking about the um, the diss songs. Now I'm not gonna lie, I, I fuck with some of the diss songs. 
And some niggas that drop this song, they still be alive, but um, niggas like Lil Mark, rest in peace to him. Great rapper, very lyrical. I fuck with his flow. Rest in peace to him, but I mean, you, you can't really drop songs like that. Man. You can't, you can't, especially we're gonna be on the bus stop. Man. It's shot rack, like niggas looking for you any fucking way, They're looking for somebody to kill anyway. So you want to talk about the niggas that, that passed away in their set? So, I mean, that's what's going to happen to you. I mean, you think about L.A. L.A., I mean, to my knowledge, didn't really diss too many dead homies and all that shit. To my knowledge, anyway. I don't know. I don't. I, I mean, I listened to a couple of his songs, but he seemed like a pretty humble guy. You feel me? He looks like he wouldn't initiate any problems with anybody. So, I mean, that being said, you really got to watch what you do. And then you want beef. You got you want beef. You want to call out niggas who who got goons, who got shooters that can come send some niggas to shoot you up off the jump. That's not that's not that's not really the the, the best way to go. You feel me? So please just like yo, just try to listen and take that advice, man. Cause y'all niggas, man, y'all shot rack niggas crazy, man. I'm telling you, yo. When I live there, man, I ain't live there like long, like probably like two, three months or whatever. Fuck. Yo, I've witnessed more murders in that time period of my life than I've ever witnessed here in Baltimore. You feel me? Like, and the nigga was like, oh, they dropped like flies. Wait till the summertime. And I think I was living out there in like May, like May or June or something. So he said like, wait till the heart of the summer. A little 15 year old boy got shot in his face and shit down on the Southwest side. That was like, maybe somebody, one of y'all may know him. I don't know his name, but there was a, like, well, so many murders up there. Who knows? I mean, I mean, I niggas, I mean, I mean, I know y'all keeping scores, but I know y'all can't really keep count. But, um, take it from a nigga from a, from, from an outside world. I mean, I'm from Baltimore. I still live in Baltimore. I mean, yeah, we turn up here too. We catch bodies. We do. We got less shootings, but we got more bodies. And, um, we have a, a, a far less population, but we still catch them bodies. All right, the thing about Baltimore is all you gotta do is really mind your business. There's not really, there ain't really nobody like gang, 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 gang. Oh, is you in the gang? Oh, you in the gang? Like, let me kill you. Like, that's not really like that out here. But out there it is. So y'all niggas really should like be on some chill shit. I would tell you like I tell my little brother, man. It's a fine line between being a bitch and being smart. Yo, don't let your pride get you killed. Oh, I'm beefing with these niggas. I'm ready to walk down a block. That shit will get you murdered, nigga. Fine line between being a bitch and being smart. Be on that smart side, man. Be on that smart side. Don't let niggas bring you out of character and, and, and get you killed because of your pride. It's not worth it. It's really not. Because once you dead, you ain't coming back. You a pat. You hear already be talking about niggas after they die? That's how they gonna talk about you. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's fucked up. We don't do that here, but y'all niggas, y'all be on some whole other shit. I don't know what's up with y'all, y'all rack niggas, yo. I love the city to death, man. I love y'all's music, man. But y'all niggas, man, y'all killing each other, man. Y'all killing great artists and shit. Like, y'all niggas don't give a fuck. But that's it for me, man. You know, um, like, subscribe, man. Hit me up, man.